We're eating here at Everything Pop at Disney's Pop Century Resort. Hello everyone, it's Princess and the Bear here at the Pop Century Resort. We are here today to try the vegan options, because I know words again, uh, at the, what is it? Pop, pop, se pop, pop, pop everything, pop. Everything pop. We'll correct it if we're wrong. Everything so, pop. Everything pop. I think. So we have a, uh, a, a Bear and Princess size basically buffet here. So going from your left to our right, or your left to right, we have the... Plant-based burger, and it's got barbecue sauce, some aioli, a few other things on it that makes it unique to Pop Century. Just looking at it to start, honestly, it looks kind of plain from the outside, so we'll see. But waffle fries, though, you can't get those anywhere. Yeah, and then we have a vegetable sandwich made special by the chef. Normally it comes with that provolone cheese and pesto on it, but he made this one fresh. It's like almost twice the size of a normal slice, just because you had it ordered. Because it's vegan. Vegan. And then I got a bear approved cordon blue with waffle fries. And I'm going to try to keep the princess from stealing the rest of my fries. I just been nomming on them the whole way up to the room. They're good. And then uh, coleslaw, because I love coleslaw. Obviously she can't have any of this. Gross. And then uh, a double side of... Uh, fresh made kettle chips because at the sandwich station where you get the vegetable sandwich um, the only other sides are buttered green beans mac and cheese and buttered rolls so and those are the potatoes, only right? there's no mashed potatoes I thought I saw mashed potatoes no mashed potatoes okay. so Butter. only the kettle chips are the only vegan side option at that station so uh, let's get to it Princess first I just want to try this burger first so Here's the burger. It's got guacamole and barbecue sauce. Is that what we consider actual guac? Is it just mashed up avocado? It's just mashed. And then we've got some specialties, a little bit of extra barbecue sauce. I actually like this a lot. It almost tastes like an impossible burger. No, this will be on meat patty. Is it? Yep. I recognize that. Not quite meat. Not quite bean flavor anywhere. It's definitely a Beyond Patty. It just tastes smoked to me. We've had That's enough all. by now. It's definitely a Beyond Patty. Alright. And then you want me to try this one? Yes. I'm going to take a small bite of this one because it has a lot of onions on it. I like, like what, the uh, eggplant and avocado and arugula. I'm worried it might be a little dry since it didn't have the... It's very dry. It didn't have the pesto on it at all. It just tastes like some cold vegetables in bread. Pretty much. I feel like it was supposed to be like sort of like a vegetable salad on bread, but the cheese and pesto. It basically just tastes like a salad inside of bread. Like, I kind of wish that the vegetables, though, they have like a... a marks on them they don't taste like they were really charred very well so like if they had more char and they were actually hot i think they would taste a lot better than this i think this this can be easily fixed if you're going to stay here and eat at this restaurant is if you go over by where they have like the pre-made salads they have dressing that you can buy in individual packets Italian dressing would fix a lot of those problems Ooh, yeah. to start. So I would agree. It's not a bad sandwich. I mean, the vegetables are good, the avocado and everything else, but it's definitely a big hunk of dry bread without the pesto on it. Yeah. So what do we got here? I got the tasty waffle fries. 
I love Disney waffle fries. They're so, so good. good. I'm not gonna have any more of these. You have your own fries. Go away. I want them all. Um, Coral blue. Oh, it's fried. It's yeah, it's basically what they did is they took a piece of the fried chicken. It was pre-fried, and then they put it on the chef's like station, and then he made this extra meat, whatever it is, and then cooked the cheese on top of it, and then that's when it was ready and hot. And they served it just like that, and then they put the fries. Gave it to me. I love french fries, but I'm not a huge fan of fried food. The grease just kind of gets to me, but uh, it looks good. It looks greasy. The ham is a little bit greasy. But the chicken is tender and moist throughout, so it's actually pretty tasty. Um. There's definitely some Dijon mustard on here, which is what I would expect on Cordon Bleu, and then uh, it looks like spinach at the bottom, but it's good. I like it. I'd order this again. Really? It's a little on the pricey side. It's like $13. Yeah, $13. But, um, I mean, of these three, I'd rather have this. I think I'll take this. Okay. So the chips. Oh, yeah. Center kettle chips, no seasoning on them. But they're, they're good, they're fresh at least. I like them. Coleslaw is a little runny. I don't really like my coleslaw runny. I like it a little bit on the uh, not mo no, wet, but not like dripping in sauce. Isn't there mayo in that? Yes, should be. Mm. Um, for normal like, Buffet style coleslaw. It's coleslaw, but it's a bit bland. Put some pepper on it, it'll probably be fine. But uh, the verdict two claws, claw and a half for me. I'll take this one over all this. This one, if you're looking for something vegan and you don't want the, the plant based burger, uh, I wouldn't get it because of the onions and, like she said, like the zucchini or whatever this is, and they're supposed to be grilled. Zucchini. Could be a little bit better. I would eat it without the bread and just have it as like a salad. Then I think it would be a lot better than trying to be a sandwich when it's really not a sandwich. Or maybe it was open faced because that's a huge hunk of bread. Yeah. Look at how huge this bread is. I like, mean, even though it's like a double portion, all of them were like that. Like a huge top bread. Too much. Pre made, and, and they look fresh, but it's just. Too much. Mm. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish scarfing all this stuff down. Consume mass quantities of food. Yes. But thanks for tuning in for Princess and the Bear, and we'll see you again next time.